City. Hiya, and welcome to a new video. I wanted to make another fashion inspired by blah 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 episode, and this time I went with this combination. The TV show Steven Universe meets Mega Steampunk Dress Up Game. So like in my Undertale-inspired video, the dolls here are not supposed to be the characters from Steven Universe, and it's just that their looks are based on their character designs. I went with the steampunk fashion because of the different props that can be found in it, and there were great options for many colors and patterns. I started with the main character, Steven. The most important part to have in was the right colors, red, yellow and blue. I also tried my best to give the right kind of accessories in order to make the look more complete. Inspired by Pearl, I decided to add a little tool bag at her hip. Pearl is a very talented mechanic and technician, so it felt like a good addition. I am most happy with the fact that there were socks I could give her, and shorts! The only thing missing really is the star that all the crystal gems have. inspired by Garnet, I had to experiment a little in order to get her afro as big as possible. I was really pleased to see that you could give two different eye colors to the character. Which people can have in real life. It's called heterochromia iridum. But some of you might already know that Garnet actually has three eye colors because she has three eyes. I also gave the model a pair of goggles for obvious reasons and a gun to show that she's a fighter. Even though she tends to fight with her fists and not with guns. We have seen it before with other characters, but we really do notice here how the doll in this game really does not fit the body types of the characters in SU. Amethyst is supposed to be really short and chubby, something that this doll is not. That is the main reason why I only focus on the fashion and looks here and do not pretend that they are meant to be Amethyst, Garnet, etc. But I guess you could already figure that out because Steven is actually a young boy and not an adult lady. Um, let's continue. Have I even said what the show is about? I will do my best to avoid any big spoilers because believe it or not, this seemingly innocent and random show has a very interesting and even dark story. And there are many twists in it too. Mixie? What is a twist? A twist is an unexpected turn of events in the story. Like, remember how Hans <laughs> turned out to be evil in Frozen? That was a twist! And there are plenty of those in Steven Universe. Steven Universe is a young boy who lives with his three adoptive mothers, Pearl, Scarlet and Amethyst. All three of them are gems, non-human beings. Basically, they are just rocks with human-looking forms. Their job is to protect the planet Earth while teaching Steven, who is half-gem, half-human, to control his powers so that he can protect the Earth too. And of course, life is not that easy, and we meet a lot of new characters throughout the show, both new friends and dangerous enemies. 
It is mainly a comedy show, but there is a lot of action and drama in it too. Because if you have seen the show, Peridot has these kind of fake limbs that she uses. So I thought that this was a cool idea. I also gave her some tools too. This gem can build a robot of junk if she wants to. She's so smart. Getting the wannabe triangle hair was really tricky though. by Lapis Lazuli is very simple, but the metal wings really make it work. She actually has water wings, however that works, but I do not think there's any dress up game around where that is an actual accessory, apart from the actual Steven Universe dress up game. I also let her be barefoot, like the Lazuli in the show, and I made sure that the model looks really tired. Lapis has been through a lot. A lot. For the Jasper look, we got her mean expression going on, the long blonde hair, the dark uniform, and the gem the stabilizer. The only thing that is really missing is her red markings on her body. And her muscles, but we have already talked about the lack of body cuts. quite late, because even if she is Steven's mother, she has very very little screen time. Well, she is dead after all. And that is not a spoiler! They tell that to you in the first episode. I give her a little hat simply because it was adorable.
shorts too, but I really, really wanted to use this little skirt for at least one outfit. I also added some freckles to this doll, because freckles are the cutest thing ever, and Ruby certainly is cute. For the sapphire outfit, I simply had to go with another big dress. Sapphires are aristocrats, which means that she's a very high class gem, so I added a whisk and a fancy looking hat. I wanted the hair to cover the eyes, but no matter what combinations I made, it was not possible. Oh well, all games have their limits. And those were my Steven Universe inspired looks. Which was your favorite? Tell me in the comments below! As always, the link to the game is in the description and I also added a link to the website where you can watch Steven Universe for free!